some eight and a half million pound uh, was allocated through planning gains to spend on various initiatives in Spitalfields, in and around Spitalfields. Part of that is to regenerate Spitalfields, also to for cultural improvements to Spitalfields. And what you see here today is part and parcel of that uh, planning gain money. This represents history with modernism. It reflects the evolution of Tower Hamlets. I mean, this is an ethnically diverse neighbourhood, so I think having something like that just adds more colour and more culture to the to the area. Really, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's, actually, I think it's really nice. Something new to the to the Brick Lane. It, it's definitely a night catcher. When you're walking down here, it's nice to feel that you're you're seeing a lot of different. Um, uh, a lot of different ethnic races and the cultural influences and things. I think that's just part of the, the, the kind of fun and colour of Brick Lane, really. It's really a nice piece. I think it looks beautiful. Well, in particular for Brick Lane, it's attracting people. And Brick Lane has a an history, has a great name, Brick Lane and Bangladesh. Uh, it's trying to attract people uh, to come, come visit this great street, uh, enjoy the nightlife, enjoy the day life, and, and basically come and see what's happening. Tarhamless Council, I myself is proud to have this landmark and for this landmark only not uh, uh, for Tower Hamlet's people, it's for uh, local businesses. Uh, as well as Fank and Hamsons and the people who made the Session 106 contribution to Hamlet's Council, I also wish to take this opportunity to thank my officers and all the councillors who have been involved in making this a reality. So big welcome uh, thanks to them.